Last minute preparations at Wellington Barracks as the 58 soldiers and 71 horses get ready to march out. Tails are plaited, whiskers are trimmed, and hooves are given a final touch up. There's a huge amount of work. I think looking after horses takes a lot of work anyway. When you look after them to the exacting standards required by the military, then there's an awful lot of work. But it's very important that we should excel at what we do. And we all, every single member of the unit, works very hard to make sure that we do that. The horses have to pull six World War I-era 13-pounder field guns through central London on the way to the firing point. According to tradition, they're decorated in the regiment's colours. If I'm really honest, there's a little bit of sort of uh, look at me. It's all very shiny, very sparkly and, you know, riding around town with lots of tourists uh, and, and general populations sort of taking photographs. That's, you know, good fun. But actually, I think on a wider influence perspective, it's always good to get out there and show the world and perhaps the wider army as well that we do have greater utility in bringing the community and the military together. Historically, gun salutes are a sign of respect or welcome, demonstrating a weapon is unloaded. The number of rounds fired in a royal salute today depends on place and occasion. A basic royal salute is 21 rounds, but because King's Troop are firing from a royal park, an extra 20 shots are added, bringing the grand total to 41. We are right in the midst of central London, and I think it's proving very popular. I mean, state ceremonial is, is very much a part of the fabric of the nation. People seem to uh, really appreciate what we do. I think it prov uh, provides iconic images of London for people from across the world. It's always a good impression going out. You see all the cameras and everyone's cheering for us. And once you hear the first bang from the gun, you always get a good scream at the start. So <laughs> it's really good. King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery were named for the Queen's father, King George VI, and after he died in 1952, she decided to keep their name in his honour. So it's fitting that for the last 61 years, it's King's Troop who fired this special royal salute to celebrate the Queen's accession to the throne. Rosie Layden, Forces News in London.